Hi, my name is Karen and I'm the Open Access Support Officer at the University of Worcester. In this short video, I will show you how to deposit outputs in RAP, which is our online repository of all University of Worcester research. Uploading outputs to RAP is a simple, straightforward process that can be completed in less than 10 minutes. In this video, I will focus only on the mandatory fields necessary to complete the RAP record. Please get in touch with the RAP team via email at rapteam at warp.ac.uk if you would like more detailed advice. This video will use a newly accepted journal article as an example. If you would like to know more about Open Access Publishing, please visit the researcher web pages of the Library Services website. Let's get started. First, you need to log in to RAP. Select Login from the menu on the left hand side of the RAP homepage. The system has already recognised me as I was logged in earlier today. In your case, you would log in using your usual university username and standard network password. From the RAP homepage, select Manage Deposits. This will take you into the screen where you can now begin the uploading process. Select the button that says New Item. The first screen will ask you to choose the appropriate item type. You can choose between various different item types, including article, book section, report, conference or workshop item, etc. Choose the item type most appropriate to your output. In this example, we will choose the article item type. Select Next. The next screen is where you have the option to upload the file of your research output. This can be either a Word document or a PDF file. In most cases, the version of the file that we need in order to meet the REF open access requirements is what's known as the Author's Accepted Manuscript, or AAM. This is the version of the article that incorporates any changes following the peer review process, but prior to any editing by the publisher, including copy editing, typesetting, or the inclusion of journal insignia. If you're not sure which version of the article to upload, please get in touch with the RAP team, who will check this for you. Select Choose File to upload the file to the record. The RAP team will check and apply any publisher's embargo that may apply to the uploaded file. Now we'll click Next to move to, on to the next stage of the process. The next screen is where you will enter most of the information relating to the article. There are only a handful of mandatory fields that you have to complete, indicated by a small orange circle with a white star. If you have more information that you would like to add, please do so. The RAP team will check everything that has been entered before setting the output live in the repository. Title. First, you need to enter the article title. Copy and paste the title from the article. Creators. This is where you enter the details of the authors. Enter the details of the authors in the same order in which they appear on the publication. When you enter University of Worcester author names, the remaining fields should auto-populate with their staff ID and their ORCID ID if they have one. Divisions. Although it is not a mandatory field, it is important that you identify the appropriate University of Worcester Institutional Division. These are organised by the three colleges, with each of the schools included under the relevant college. In this example, I will choose Central Services Library Services. Refereed. Choose yes or no to indicate whether the output has been peer reviewed. In this case, I will select yes. Status. Choose the appropriate option to indicate the publication status of the output. Only select the option published if the output has been published and has been assigned a volume and issue number. If an article has been published online but has not yet been assigned to a journal volume or issue, then you should select In Press. In this example, the article has been accepted but not yet published, so I will choose In Press. Journal or publication title. 
enter the journal pu publication title in this field. If there are existing records with the same title, this will be recognized by the software and you can select the existing details to then auto-populate subsequent fields such as the ISSN. If there are no existing records of publication with the same journal, then you will need to add details such as the ISSN and publisher name manually. Dates. Although this section is not mandatory, we strongly recommend that you enter the details of dates associated with the publication. For articles and full-length conference proceedings, we require you to enter the date that the article was accepted for publication so that the output will be eligible for submission to the REF. In this example, the article was accepted for publication on the 1st of June 2020. Select more input rows to enter any further dates associated with the publication, for example, the date that the article was first published online. Uncontrolled discrete keywords. While this section is not mandatory, entering keywords can help to maximise the impact of your work. Keywords play an important role in making your research outputs discoverable in external search engines such as Google Scholar. Enter details of appropriate keywords. Often these will already have been identified and included in the publication. Once you have entered all of the required information, select Save and Return. You will then be shown a preview of the RAP record that you have created. You can access Save Deposits by selecting Manage Deposits. If you wish to make further changes, select Edit Item. When you are finished entering all of the required information, select Deposit Item. Select Deposit Item Now. The output will then appear for checking in the RAP Teams review queue. If you wish to add any further details to the record after you have deposited it, please contact the RAP Team directly who will make any updates on your behalf. Once the RAP Team have completed the final checks on your record, they will then set the record live in the repository and it will then appear under your author profile. Thank you for watching.